What's up, my crypto legends? In this episode, we're taking a look at Bitcoin again on the weekly because are the bulls defending this $19,000 range? And we are going to see some bullish momentum in the next coming days. This is something I want to discuss today on the Bitcoin chart here. Looking at the two hourly, we had massive volatility yesterday. The bulls trying to defend this $19,000 range. As you can see, we had a huge pump in just a few hours of over 10% for Bitcoin. Now, does this mean that the bulls want to defend this range and we might going to have some bullish momentum in the coming days and weeks? Or is it going to finally get broken in the coming days? Something that we are going to discuss today. We're also taking a look at Ethereum defending very well with this $1,000. I'm going to explain why we are defending this range and getting these bounces where you could get some good opportunities here on trading. And also we're taking a look at the DXY. The DXY is absolutely exploding again, but I'm going to show you how the DXY potentially can be topping out in the immediate short term and have a correction in the coming weeks, which will be good for Bitcoin for a short term reversal. So make sure to stay tuned in this episode for all of this. Hello there, Andy here. Welcome back to another episode. Let's dive in here straight into the content because first of all, I want to jump into the DXY that it's absolutely exploding today, having some really nice bullish momentum, just about to break the highs here from June. But I want to explain how the DXY is very likely losing steam and doesn't have much more upside momentum in just one bit. We have been respecting very much these levels on the DXY, the 104.8. We had a big massive support being resistance, creating lower highs, breaking the trend line, managing to get support. And this is why we are seeing these aggressive drops on Bitcoin. We also very much predicted this kind of rejection at this range after this consolidation because we did break out from these higher lows breaking down, managing to get that resistance, looking for that potential correction. This was going to be good for Bitcoin in the immediate short term, this small correction for those relief pumps. Now, why do I think that the DXY doesn't have much more momentum? Well, zooming out here, we have been talking about this for weeks already. We could see the DXY growing pretty nicely with these higher lows and then going quite parabolic, as you can see right over here. Now, this parabolic trend has been broken already and we are getting this major trend support turning into strong resistance, meaning that we are slightly breaking higher highs here and not managing to continue back up. Sorry, one second here. This is where I had the trend line from these higher lows, breaking the support, getting that resistance, as you can see right over here. Support, breakdown resistance and what happens right now after you break a parabolic trend to the upside is that you break the highs and you don't successfully continue the trend back up you actually break the highs and you have a major correction beneath it so what i am expecting here on the dxy is potentially if we do break the highs of june it won't be a successful breakout and we're just going to create slightly higher highs kind of a distribution event here on the dollar index and in the next coming weeks we will be seeing a pretty pretty sharp correction on the dxy at some point as the parabolic run to the upside is getting exhausted and we will have that roll back down in the next coming weeks and this should have a good effect in bitcoin of course in the immediate short term dxy pumping right now this is not having a good effect in bitcoin but i do think that bitcoin could get that reversal point in the next coming weeks the more the dxy pumps the more bullish i will be, be i will be in bitcoin because we'll be seeing bitcoin at very cheap levels now going to the weekly here zooming in like i said you know we're at the verge of a major collapse Price action in between $12,000, which was a major high resistance back in 2019 and 2020, had price action to the upside very, very fast. Like I explained to you, when price action goes fast and doesn't leave hardly any volume registered, we can come as fast back down. The only reason we are holding this range is because the large consolidation that we had in November and December of 2020 and the all-time high created in 2017 also because we do have some very strong daily and weekly level here around about the $19,400. This is why we are taking we are having a couple of weeks here 
of consolidation managing to hold the range. Now the question in everybody's mind, are we going to hold this level? Will it be held or are we going to drop below? A lot of people are already expecting $12,000, $10,000 Bitcoin. Will this really happen? Just as in 2021, many people were expecting $100,000 Bitcoin. Very similar, but in the bearish case scenario right now, where a lot of people are expecting to buy Bitcoin at $10,000. We want Bitcoin at $10,000. I'll be buying Bitcoin at $10,000. This is why at these levels, the best strategy for me right now is to dollar cost average as an investor. But also as a trader, I want to take a look at these big major opportunities. As you can see here on the chart, looking at the two hourly, we had a very, very aggressive drop on Bitcoin, okay? The first couple of weeks of June, okay? Massive big drop. We are kind of consolidating. Does this mean that we are going to be range trading for the next coming weeks? And I think that this is very, very, very possible as a lot of people are extremely bearish and looking for much lower levels. I think we are already at very extreme low levels and the price of Bitcoin could get some consolidation for the coming weeks. If we do see that DXY coming down, all right, also and getting rejected from the highs of June, just slightly breaking above the highs here on the DXY and finally consolidating and having another big sharp correction. I think this is a very, very possible scenario. This is why I want to see the DXY to be extremely bullish or bearish, depending on how we are going to move. Going back to Bitcoin here, we can see that there is a possibility that we might be creating a higher low right there. We actually held here the 0.78 Fibonacci level, the 0.618 didn't hold. As you can see, we were kind of consolidating, but we had a wick all the way down to the 0.78, very important Fib level here, just above the $18,500 range uh, that we did breach yesterday. Big massive volatility, def defending the bull, defending these low levels, because they do know, the bulls do know that if we do drop below $19,000, successfully and hit 18 17000 it's a free road all the way down to 12000 dollars because the volume registered is very very low the price action went up there very very fast so not much to add here there's insane volatility i haven't been trading much in between yesterday and and today just some small scalps okay only for myself because i don't have enough time to connect with the telegram group okay with the Bybit competition, okay, the Bitcoin census team that we are doing extremely well. We're doing extremely well here, ranked 19. We are in the top 20 out of 461 teams right now, which is absolutely crazy, guys. Doing extremely well here on the Bybit competition. So not much to add here, guys. Stay cautious because we could see some big, big relief pumps. This is why I am not trading because I am well aware that this level wants to be defended the bears want to push down this range but the bulls also want to defend it and you can see it yesterday with this insane volatility if you're using high leverage and you are looking to short the market well of course these are big massive pumps that are just going to liquidate you if you are fast enough this was an insane opportunity also because you are still aggressively creating these lower highs as you can see on the chart you could arguably discuss that this is just going to be a big massive short squeeze and this is a good opportunity to jump in a short trade to continue the downtrend guys so you need to be very very fast we actually were very well respected from this high to this low the 61865 levels as you can see fibonacci but this is a trade that i wouldn't have got because i like to wait for a consolidation i like to wait for a reaction this is when i jump into trades at big major resistance and support levels not at big big massive pumps or big massive dumps because this is just very very dangerous to catch okay you could actually continue a pump to the upside or continue a big massive dump to the downside you never know actually where the price is going to stop if you have big massive bearish or bullish momentum but it was a quick quick trade right there quick scalp here day trade to the downside i didn't jump in guys make sure to check out these big major levels to take those opportunities there is a possibility like i said we are creating these lower highs still and now we have solidly created a higher low for the last couple of days here just above the eighteen thousand five hundred dollars. is it possible that we are going to range trade 
in between these lower highs and higher lows for the next coming days and i think this is very very possible we're not going to see a very very big massive move to the downside just yet or we're not going to see a big massive bump to the upside just yet i think we're going to be range trading it's going to be a little bit of boring price action in my personal opinion guys stay safe here with bitcoin not many opportunities just a bunch of volatility in no man's land okay stay cautious with these big massive spikes here with the short squeeze actions um, no man's land in my personal opinion remember for all of those experienced traders on bybit you do get the best bonus available which is up to four thousand four hundred and fifty dollars to be claimed on the rewards hub and also zero percent make a fee for 30 days you do not pay any fees make a fees for 30 days guys if you use my link in the description on bybit and i think you still have time to join the competition so if you haven't got an account make an account here on bybit and join our bitcoin sensors team taking a look at ethereum right now guys on the one hourly we can see that this value area low on ethereum is holding very very nicely and also value area high i'm talking about the 1250 dollars and the 1000 uh, 1000 1050 dollar range okay from the volume traded the last 20 days big resistance level here on ethereum the 1250 and also big support at the one thousand dollar area we can see big 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 support levels here if i do get this box we can see a lot of volatility holding this one thousand dollar range you can see bounces several bounces as support from this level and we are managing to hold this range very very nicely does this mean that ethereum is ready to have some bullish momentum of course this is all depending on the dxy all depending on bitcoin how we are going to react at this major zone at nineteen thousand dollars so if bitcoin does manage to hold and have some bullish momentum i think that uh, ethereum does have a possibility to come back up to the one thousand two hundred and fifty dollar to retest that zone as we have dropped below this range and grabbed the bunch of liquidity is it ready to continue down and retest below nine hundred dollars or has this just been a liquidity grab below this low and we are ready to come back up to retest the highs of $1,250. I'm gonna leave this to you guys to decide. We've actually got a reaction from this low to the high to the 61865 zone. As you can see, beautifully retested the 618 level, managing to get that consolidation. Is it gonna be defended thanks to the DXY correcting and Bitcoin also holding the range, giving that potential momentum to the upside on Ethereum only if Bitcoin does behave and has some bullish momentum of course guys this is going to be it for this quick update very very difficult right now extremely volatile bitcoin wants to defend this nineteen thousand dollar area because if it's not defended the bulls know the bears know that we are going to absolutely smash it and go all the way down even to twelve thousand dollars potentially in just a few weeks as you can see when we have capitulation when we break big support levels the capitulation that we defended here for several weeks this is on the weekly chart as soon as we broke this solid support level and the price action was fast to the upside it was as fast or even faster to the downside guys this is why this is our last hope on bitcoin the 19 20 dollar range where we're currently trading getting that consolidation we are waiting or a solid momentum to the downside if it does happen guys it will be time to short all of those relief pumps because it is likely that we'll be moving fast and we can make huge gains all the way down to twelve thousand dollars if we solidly break nineteen thousand eighteen thousand dollars there'll be huge shorting opportunities all the way down to twelve thousand dollars this is going to be it for this episode, guys. Make sure to smash up the like button on your way out. Check out the Bitcoin Census website for the latest news, technical analysis ideas. Thank you, and I will see you in the next one.